Hello, uh, we're going to be taking a look here at some of the, uh, or actually one of the features in Zen server that is the, um, the job queue. Um, I was just kind of working on a little task here um, that I've been kind of working on for a little while um, and kind of came to a point where it was actually workable and I thought, you know, it might not be something that, uh, it could be something that some people would be interested in actually seeing. Uh, basically, what I've done is actually creating an entire queuing system. Um, it's based off of the Zen server job queue. Um, it's actually based off of something very similar to what I have done on uh, on uh, my uh, eShrade account. There's a Zen server. Where is that? It's in Studio. Here, we'll just do a search by this. And here we go. DUQ. Um, basically, I use this to... Uh, uh, serve up a lot of my queued requests and so you can uh, uh, you basically use this to run things kind of in the background while you're waiting for uh, for when you have something else that need to be done basically um, but one of the things that I've wanted to do is I've, I've wanted to be able to just you know throw jobs out there and the way this whole thing works is that basically you take an object um, serialize it and then run it at, uh, send it at the job queue and then it will uh, if we go over to my uh, do, 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 my queue directory and it basically just runs it uh, from within here so uh, what it does it does a couple of things you can go to the eShrader uh, story and take a look if you want um, but what this does is just basically takes that object and executes it instead of the, inside of the queue um, this is really good for doing things programmatically so say for example if I look at my uh, oh I think my content controller has has a task in there let's see um, there we go. So this is one where it uh, goes and sets out a uh, gets the bitly URL for an individual um, story when I actually write it. And the way I do that is I create this new task and I call execute. That's pretty much all I need to do in order to make this uh, run. So um, what I wanted to do, I could, doing this programmatically is definitely nice and very useful from a from a, uh, a development development perspective. But sometimes there are some things that you want to do from an administrative uh, standpoint that would be kind of interesting as well. Uh, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm uh, going to be gathering data on Twitter um, tags and things like that. And so um, if I want to search for a certain tags, you know, pound Zen, pound PHP, or something like that. Um, I want to, you know, basically be able to go in there and set up a task to run just right from my administration panel. And that's kind of what I've done. If we go to my dashboard here, um, you can see that I've added a whole bunch of uh, individual tasks that are running. Oh, and we see here that uh, one uh, has actually already been run. Uh, it's kind of neat. Um, you can do all this kind of from the Zen server um, uh, administrative interface, but you can also do this programmatically. Um, using the API so if I want to I just click on delete all completed and it just removes all the ones that haven't been run yet that's actually a very simple piece of code uh, we go to my task controller here you see delete all jobs I get up to a thousand um, I go through each one and if it's the status is okay I just call remove job and it just removes it you know really nice and easy um, so if I wanted to do something like uh, setting up another Twitter search if I wanted to do this I go to Twitter search and what this does is it takes a task that I've written called admin task Twitter search and it introspects the constructor to see if there's any kind of information that's available there um, so for example if I go to my task here and I take a look at my Twitter search you see that it has search in there same thing I have you know my bitly I have the content key um, so if I go to uh, bitly it just you know takes that directly from the constructor and makes that available or if I want to send an email email subject message basically all taken from uh, from there um, so what I wanted to show you was just uh, you know, how that would kind of be done here so let's go to my yeah, task mail and I'll um, send it to my own email address and I'm not gonna pop it up here because I'm sure I have private stuff in there that nobody wants to see so I'll just uh, put this in there this is a test I can have this scheduled to um, uh, run at some point in the future so if I'm doing like a if I want to run it every uh, at 20 minutes past the hour um, I can have it scheduled then or if I can remove this and uh, just basically do it immediately so I'll do this hit submit and we see that now it's in the pending state I go to tasks again and we see that it's actually run started ended and if I were to check my email right now eh, we'll see if I can 
do this without uh, damaging anybody too much. Uh, it doesn't show up. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, but we see this. Okay, it's been sent. And now that it's been sent, I can just click on that and it's gone. Um, or I could do a, uh, you know, do another Twitter search. I want to do it for pound nothing. And I'm going to schedule it at, uh, you know, zero past the hour. Hit submit. And it's basically scheduled now. Of course, I did. I'm missing some uh, other information here that would make it nice and easy to use. And I believe, though, that it was this one. So I just select that and click on delete. And of course, it doesn't work. So <laughs> I got a little bit of work left to do. But either way, that's uh, kind of cool. So if I, the way we do this is we see a couple of things here. First of all, we see the form. The form has a whole bunch of JavaScript on that. And if we want to add a task, what we basically do is we get that form that we created get all the parameters that we'd specified in there, get the options, and these options are really just uh, uh, the, the drop-down options, so the actual tasks that have been created. Um, we get the name of the task, and then we use reflection to get a new instance, passing in the parameters that we had specified. If we have a schedule, we pass it in as, as an option, and then we simply execute that task, passing in our application, and passing in any options that have been uh, uh, defined as well. Um, then we just forward to the index, which is you know this right here, which just gets a list of all the individual jobs. Uh, you see here we're using the uh, Zen job queue, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, nothing spectacular. Just thought that that'd be something that would be interested, uh, something interesting to show on a Friday afternoon if you're not feeling like doing any work. So that that's it. <laughs> so have yourselves a good Friday and a good weekend.